What's good guys, welcome back to another video. We're gonna be talking about dividend investing in this one. And I think we need to understand that I'm going all in on dividend investing. I know there's a lot of people that, you know, maybe all for, you know, my crypto content or maybe for, you know, some of the stock related content like AMC or talking about meta or, or whatever, right? Specific positions. But dividends are kind of where it's at. When you think about consistent income, you think about being able to, um, you know, gradually gain something, compound interest, the things that we all would love to have. Dividend investing is that and so much more. So I wanted to kind of talk about dividend investing and um, tell you about why I'm going all in, where I'm making these moves and how much I plan to have, you know, in the future, because I am going to be making some newer investments and you guys are getting kind of the, the, the scoop on what investments I'm making because they are not actually live yet, but we will talk about those investments and, you know, why we are deciding to make those. So Anyways, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, if you want to check the links down below and you guys want to start your own dividend journey, you can do that by signing up for Robinhood. You get a free stock when you sign up for Robinhood. It could be valued all the way up to $200. Uh, it could be valued at five, 10, 20, 200, and um, you'll be able to get one of these new free stocks. And if you're looking to start a dividend journey, you could start with Microsoft, or you could start with Johnson & Johnson or, or whatever other position or company does pay a dividend. Um, that's a single company, not really like an ETF. So if you want to get started on your journey, feel free to use that link down below. If you are outside the country, I'm not sure if Robinhood will be uh, accessible for you, but I do appreciate you guys watching. So let's go ahead and talk about my dividend portfolio. Again, I made a few videos on dividends where I first started about getting started. I had $62. Then I started making videos about the, the progression. You know, I increased to 160 something dollars and then increased to 200 something dollars and 300 and 400. And now I'm at a higher value even than that. My goal for the end of the year was to have about $3,000, which means I would need to invest about $1,000 per month. Um, technically, we only have two months left, so I would need to invest more than $1,000 per month by the time I uh, get to the end of the year. So I need some aggressive moves here in order to invest that much because I typically don't have a free $1,000 to throw into uh, the stock market. I would usually throw a little bit into the crypto market or a little bit into long-term investments, and I usually don't have that much. So I wanna figure out how we can get to that point and gather a bunch to put into this dividend investing portfolio, and hopefully you guys can see a, a ton of value as it grows over the months, over the years. So. Anyways, I made that video and then more recently I made a video talking about my first dividend payment. I received a 22 cent dividend payment from SPHD for 1.25 shares that I did have. Now I have more than 1.25 shares. I have about five shares of SPHD. So I know that 17 cents times the five shares, I'll get a lot more than 22 cents. But you know, we understand that uh, you want to be able to diversify and uh, build your dividend investment portfolio. So um, when I look at my uh, portfolio, this is what it looks like. I have $770.35. I did just get a free stock, um, you know, valued at about 500 or $5, not $500, $5. And I bought more Microsoft with it. Every time I get one of those um, free stocks, I'm going to buy Microsoft with it, whether it's five or 200, I'm going to buy Microsoft and that's going to pay me a, uh, small dividend, but still a dividend nonetheless. So the positions that I have right now is, O realty income, uh, Microsoft, SPHD, Walmart, and Nike, three different positions that are kind of, that are single, uh, stock, single companies while also looking at, you know, SPHD, which is, you know, um, you know, an ETF there. So, you know, you have multiple, um, you know, things that are included in that and then also realty income. So, um, I am going to be making two more purchases, which is uh, PRF, which is a, you know, Investico ETF. 
So Investigo FTSE, Rafi US 1000 ETF. Um, I've seen the growth over this. And the reason why I'm investing into this is because they do have a high dividend, um, but then also show some consistency over time while it stays kind of flat. Um, over time, you see that within five years, you start seeing a little bit of a jump, right? It's up, you know, $8 or 37% over, you know, five years. And I hope that growth really continues. But who's really to say whether it absolutely will continue. But the good thing is that when you have an ETF, you have a kind of a, a lump um, or uh, just a clump or whatever of a lot of different you know, companies that are involved into it. So I want to start really investing heavily into more ETFs while also having, you know, single positions, right? Single companies that are out there as well. But a lot of these ETFs in include some of these single companies. And if they do end up cutting their ETF, you know, you have a lot of other ET or sorry, not ETFs. If they do end up cutting their dividend, right, as a single company within the ETF, you see that, majority of the other ETFs are still there. So it's a very minimal, um, you know, effect to your overall dividend portfolio. If you have a business that you're investing into, right, say Walmart, and they decide to cut their dividend, well, now everything that you invested in there is um, you're going to see no dividend, no payment for it. So then you have to kind of transition that. And who's to say that you're now transitioning it at a higher price? Most likely you're transitioning at a lower price. And another one that I have here is SP. YD, um, you know, this is uh, also an ETF that, you know, goes through the S&P 500 and I'm buying three shares of this at about $33. Now, again, we saw five years where this looks, you know, sort of flat. It's down about 8% honestly. And when we look at max, that's where we start to see that increase. I don't know how long max actually is. I guess this is from 2015, 2016. So throughout time, we can expect that this is going to remain flat or even um, increase a slight bit. I don't care about it, um, you know, absolutely growing to the sky. What I care more about is it remaining consistent and gaining in a dividend throughout time. So I have a, a buy order to where I'm going to buy three here as well, which does pay me, um, you know, a dividend of, uh, where's that? It's somewhere here, 30 day yield of 5.34%. So a higher dividend yield. And I'm excited about that one because then we'll see what we can gain every single month because it's a 30 day yield. So again, this is what I stand on. I have a total of $770.35 um, at the moment. Again, if you guys want to join Robinhood and start your dividend journey as well, all you have to do is use my link in the description and you'll be able to sign up for Robinhood and get your free stock and start your journey today. Um, as long as all you have to do is just sign up and link your bank account and you'll be good. But uh, guys, I'm gonna get out of here hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you are investing into dividends or if you're interested in it. And if you wanna know more about it, I will continue to make videos on it. And we can also bring up more information and in like the Patreon and different groups and stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.